So I'm here with Richie Houghton at the 2011 NAMM show, and what's really cool about this show, as I was just told, is that 10 years ago today, Richie... Not, uh, 10 years, of, 10 years ago in January, so around now. Around this time. Uh, tell me in your own words, what happened? Yeah, actually, uh, we weren't at NAMM, but 10 years ago this month, John Aquaviva and I were at a, another music conference called Medium, which is in, in the south of France, and we introduced a product called Final Scratch. And uh, it was a really funny day, you know, we had a small audience, people were like, what are you guys talking about? It was filled with a lot of friends of ours, a lot of distributors of vinyl records. And it was, a, I never saw so many of our friends and colleagues and, and uh, partners suddenly become distant. Yeah. Because the writing was on the wall yeah. after we announced that. You know, it was the beginning of, you know, of the changeover, I won't say the end of vinyl, but the changeover from vinyl and even analog controllers or vinyl CD controllers to where we are today. Yeah. You walk around here and it's all controllers. It's all knobs and faders and you're really starting to, uh, you know, people, you don't hear people talking about turntables or even CD controllers. It's new age controllers, you know? You've been on the, consistently on the cutting edge of digital DJing for the past 10 years. First with DBS, then with building your own controllers, then with trying to implement um, successfully a marriage of visuals and music and your control actions uh, at, at one of the Mutech shows. Mm -hmm. um, what are you working on now? What's the next step for, for you? You know, I'm, I can't answer that. Like, uh, I'm here because I have uh, a couple of months off. I'm uh, ordering and buying and testing and looking around, trying to find out, you know, what's next. Yeah. Not perhaps for the whole industry, but what's next for me, you know. I, I think that's where we're at now. We have so many possibilities, so many different types of controllers and features that, you know, you have to find the right set of equipment. Now, I don't think there's one thing, you know, the right set of components to allow you as a human to kind of come through that equipment and do a performance that's engaging, entertaining, progressive, and the bomb. Yeah. So I'm in R&D mode. Cool. <laughs> Ten years ago, um, there was an industry standard. That was the Techniques 1200 and the CUJ uh, 1000 at that time. People are still today trying to define the next industry standard. You know, NI with their S4, everyone's trying to define this is what everyone should have. Do you think that maybe there won't be an industry standard anymore? I, you know, I hope so. You know, because you know, I see some of the, the manufacturers trying, everyone's doing their proprietary software and, and data links. and. That's cool, but like, you know, it's like beta and VHS. I think that is going the wrong way. Big companies who are trying to lock it down will fail because we are in the century of, of customization, of personalization. And you're seeing that, you know, in, in hardware and performance now. You know, it, it's, you know, it's what you guys are doing, offering, you know, also small units to, and buttons and, like, some, you know, we can sit here and someone's gonna say, no, the iPad's away. And someone's gonna say, no, you know, I love this button. It's all right, yeah. you know? And that's the thing I think, you know, you see here and what the, 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 the next generation should know or even knows even more than us right now is that pick and match, you know, customize and I here, you know, Ableton there, connect it together, plug it in backwards and create something uniquely new. Yeah. Almost like guitar pedals. Yeah, it is. You know, you see the great guitarists, you know, may have like, you know, similar components as someone else, but it's the way they put it together. You know, this one goes first and then someone else, no, that goes third. Yeah. And out of that, out of that kind of weird mix of things comes something magical. Exactly. So I actually think it's a, an amazing moment for, you know, performance because there's so many options and cool boxes that you're seeing or starting to see a real creativity and kind of the human spirit come back through into electronic music. Yeah, into the digital domain. Yeah. We effectively digital, digitize things, mm -hmm. we haven't quite found our soul yet. No, we, we, well, you know, I think there's people who are just looking at the equipment about what it does, but yeah. it's not about what the equipment does, it's about what you can do through With. that equipment. Yeah. That's where the soul is. It's a medium. Well, Richie, 
Thank you for your continued innovation, no problem. for your great music over all the years. Uh, I know I am very excited and our readers are probably very excited to see what you come up with next. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to getting your little button device. That's right, <laughs> you just ordered a mini button. Right. So, thank you. Cool, thank you very much. <laughs>